Yes, it's all over. The transfer market, it's all over. Every other deal are just to, you know, finishing touches. Agreement, contract, all closed. And hey, you, hearing me this morning, listen to me carefully. Chelsea has done the best transfer this season. Among all the teams all over Europe, Chelsea has done the best of the transfers. Believe me, the squad we carry right now, we, in, this year, we, I cannot promise that we are going to carry the league or we are going to do this. But in the coming years, and even this year, we are going to be competing for every single cup. We are going to be competing for every single cup. You get it? Uh -huh. So just as a Chelsea fan, relax. Relax. We are going to be competing for every single cup. The players that are on the injury list, let them come back according to what the gaffa, our gaffer, the coach, has said. According to what he has said. And I'll be giving you his videos right now. I want you to take your time and watch everything that he has said. Everything that the coach has said. I want you to take your time and listen to him to the end of the video. Then you will know that we are up to something in this season. Meanwhile, the windows is over. Conor Gallagher stays at Chelsea, same as Madsen, Kukurela, and Chaloba. They all are in Chelsea. So for those of us that had, that had, that had earlier fear, we had, we had the fear of losing Gallagher. He's still in Chelsea. He was never close to leaving today. Our sports were never really close to selling Hodgeberg. Yeah, so he was, after all, never close to going out, going to Tottenham. Thank God, <laughs> because he is one of my favorites. He's one of the players that are growing. In, you know, when I see him perform, it's like he's developing. His development is very fast, and I, we, I really want him to be part of this Chelsea squad. Now, he's going to be signing a new contract. It's as simple as that. He's going to sign a new con contract, and he'll prove himself in this season. I, I, I want to go to my... Predicted lineup, but because of the coach, the pre, pre, uh, press conference, uh, let me stop here. I want you to listen to the press conference to the end. My next video later on will be the, the, the team lineup, my predicted team lineup, and few analysis of the game to expect tonight against Nottingham Forest. My few analysis, but watch this video, what everything that the coach has to say. And let me remind you one of the things that he said, which interests me most. Let me just quickly tell you. He said, when the players recover from injury, you will see the good team that we have for sure. The problem is that we invest today, but maybe we will be rewarded in a few years. I just need to make sure I am still here. <laughs> I just need to make sure I am still here. Because of all the sacrifices and effort I'm making today, I still want to be here when the good things happen. Because of the talented players they, Chelsea, have, it is only a matter of time before they start performing. This is what he has to say. Watch it by yourself. Listen to his voice. Pick your point one by one. And I'll come your way later in the day for our predicted lineup and match analysis. Shalom and peace. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah, well, after yeah. that first bit, but I mean, it be signing another player. <laughs> <laughs> if we delay the, the press conference, thing can happen, yeah. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, everyone. We'll operate in the usual fashion today, starting with the broadcast section, and that will be Paul from Sky Sports News. Paul. Hello, how are you, Paul? I think it was uh, when the sporting director and the, uh, the owner, of course, but the sporting director translated the idea uh, to add him to the squad. I think he's fit for the project, and you know, the, he's a young, talented player. Um, of course, that uh, also he decided to come because he expect to play maybe more than you know in and be important here. But I think that is not the most important, and the important thing is. He want to come because he's seen Chelsea approach it for him and a way to to improve his games and way to maybe to be more involved in every single game. But uh, yes, I think the quality is there. I think it's a great great potential and and of course um, now we need to settle here and prove and show that he's you know better than the teammate and and deserve to play on them because it's about to fight for his place. Uh, 
I always need to be careful with the young guys because, like the experienced player, they they need time to to settle and to hear from Manchester and. He's going to move to London. London is different. The club is different. The culture and everything. And he need to first of all before to start to perform. He need to settle and and uh, be in his space and and feel comfortable. We are not going to put pressure on him to perform like a, any player. And the most important and now is need to be calm and to uh, be happy and find his his space on on the team. I think so. I think so. I think it's no time at the moment. If something is going on, I don't know, because I didn't uh, talk with my sporting director. Last time was 11 o'clock. And in two hours, nearly two hours, I don't know. If something is going, there is something happened, they will communicate to me after the, the press conference. That that is why I, I no, it's not to waste time to ask me something that I don't have answer for sure. Yeah. How do you like to spend a, a deadline day when you're obviously trying to prepare for a game as well? But do you, do you ring the sporting director on a regular basis, or do you think you're happy with the squad? No, I think we are happy with the squad. Um, I don't believe that something happened in the next few hours um, in terms to player in, no. Um, we are always in contact and we are going to have good contact I'm not going to spend time until to the end here because we need to keep energy for tomorrow um, but yes we we always we have we have very good communication in between you know uh, owners and sporting director and yes uh, waiting for the things that happen but I think in, in terms to sign player I don't believe that Something happened. I was going to ask you about the, the spending this summer is more at Chelsea in one summer than you had at 11 uh, during 11 transfer windows at Tottenham. Does, does that impact on your coaching, on your management in any way to have just such different styles? Nah, but I think we need to explain the, the, the reality is in the same way that we sign players, we sell players. And and then it's, uh, it's not fair. Uh, to say nothing wrong about my former club. Um, it's more about to net spend than really what the money that you spend, because uh, that is the balance that the club tried now to to to, to get. Um, I think it was completely different, you know, uh, project or was different reality, different cir circumstance. Um, no, I think we, we feel comfortable, of course. Now we need to settle all, all the players, players that arrive late. We are uh, in a process that we need to create these bases and to build this, uh, you know, um, solid, you know, uh, a structure to perform after. I think we are in a good way. We need to recover all the players that uh, are injured, players that arrive late and they need to be informed. We are working really hard to try you know, to, to be in our best. Uh, for sure, we, we time. It's a matter of time. Um, we have the quality and I think uh, uh, we are going to perform in, in the way that all the, the people wait for us. Last one, Respect Paul. from us. Last one. Yeah, we talked a lot there about uh, signing, but what, you mentioned the outgoings today, possibly. Where does Conor Gallagher fit into your plans for the team and, and do you think he will be a, a Chelsea player beyond the deadline? I think all the players that are involved in the squad are in our plan. And then, like always, I told you, uh, after his uh, decision of two part, uh, the club and the and the player. Uh, in that case, <clears throat> always from outside, Connor was a player that was a reliable player and consistent player that can perform in different positions. Uh, we are so happy with him. Um, another thing is, circumstances or different things that happened on the past that we cannot say nothing to you. Only we can express our feeling from the day one that we start to work and with Canon always was showing great, you know, commitment with the club. Um, we are happy with him and he was captain uh, two days ago against Wimbledon. I think he's an important player for us. 
what is going to happen in the future, I don't know. I cannot tell you. It's, it's like, no, the, the player asked me, oh, how you see myself in, in the future? I don't know. I cannot. No, it's up to you. If you are the best, you are going to play. Even if we pay big money for some player, they need to perform. If they don't perform, I think they are, if they don't deserve to play, they are not going to, to play. That is, that is football, no? And I think all the players that today are in the, in the squad, they know very well and have clear idea that they are going to play if they deserve to play. It's not because we pay big money for some player, they are going to be guaranteed that he's going to play. And that is a good thing that is, is, is happened now in the, on the squad. Um, in that case, as you asked me, um, we are so happy with him. Hope that stay with us. Jake, PLP. Hi. Hi. Do you know how many team news or injury updates ahead of the game? News from Wimbledon. I think no, no, no news. And the injury update's gone out on yeah. online, yeah. so that will all be listed there before the press conference. It, but you asked me if new. No, yeah, yeah. Anything fresh in the meantime? Anything different? No, no. I think so. No news. There's a couple of alterations, but just look on the website. Right. We'll no, no news. Good news. Good news. Obviously, the, since Wimbledon and the last week, you've been one more week in the job. You haven't been here that long. How do you think feel things have progressed in the last week since since the last Premier League game for you? Because of the different circumstances and the circumstances that we have, we are happy in the way that we are progressing. Even if we maybe not progress in the way that we want and the speed that we want. Um, because to progress on the team, we need to have all the element, all the player fit um, to evolve in in our way to play and and to have the capacity to train with the the whole team and for them to create an environment that they can compete, improving. At the moment, we need to with all the circus and we are happy, but it's true that maybe now we are more focused in compete and try to get good result. You know, because positive result, because that is, is going to help us to to after to, for the player that will arrive to the team to 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 be in different mood. Um, but of course, now now is the process that we need to compete are not the best.